E.W. Jackson. We've been talking a lot about him recently. He is one of six black guys in the United States that doesn't really like black people. So let's listen to his new idiotic theory. I love the tepid applause at the end. There's like one person, yeah! Yeah, oh. Oh, you guys don't like that? No, no. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? He just said slavery wasn't the destruction of the black family. Healthcare was the destruction of the black family. Look, that's what the programs were in the 60s. Sure, there were uh, some other ones, but it was Medicare, healthcare, Medicaid, healthcare, Social Security, giving old people some shekels to survive. The poverty rate, by the way, uh, in, for senior citizens was 40% before those programs. Afterwards, dropped to below 10%. But that's a pro that's not only, not only is that not a good thing, that's a problem. Not only is it not, not only is it a problem, it's a bigger problem than slavery. God. These guys are just beyond stupid. There's not a, a, a single part of that that even made a little bit of sense. Look, I'm so tired of uh, that argument. The argument that we've been hearing from conservatives for years and decades now of, no, you, you don't get it, you dumb lib. By helping people a little bit, you're not actually helping people. There, I said it. Uh, never mind the fact that, that uh, it's not true because it's a tautology to say that by helping people a little bit, you're helping people a little bit, right? By giving them a little bit of money in their elder age to get by, social security, right? Or food stamps, people who don't make almost any money at all or make very little money and they need to, you know, do this little thing called eat, right? No, no, uh, if you have those programs, well, they're lazy moochers. You create a, a permanent underclass, you create parasites, right? Okay, dude, it's not like we're giving them $3,000 uh, a month to do nothing. No, that's not the way the system works. There's uh, benchmarks and requirements, and it's only a certain amount of money that they get or a certain number of food stamps. Uh, and health care, how are you going to argue against giving people health care? Again, the senior citizen uh, poverty rate was 40%, and then after those programs, it dropped to below 10%. The, you know, the war on poverty, the Great Society, was an overwhelming success overwhelming success but no not only is it not a success it's worse than slavery <laughs> 